In this lecture, I'm going to talk about file class. It's a non-AP topic, but it is really very practical. The file class. The file class is intended to provide an abstract that deal with most of the machine-dependent complexity of files and the path names in a machine-independent fashion. The file name is a string. The file class is a wrapper class for the file name and its directory path. Usually, the file name include the file name and the directory path. And it will be machine dependent because different operation system have different naming convention. But after this file class, you will generate a file handler, and after that, the file handler will not be machine dependent. You will be able to process everything that you would like to access the file through this file handler without getting bothered by the machine dependent issues. This is UML. For the file class, as you can see, there are a lot of methods. Basically, it is used to obtain the file properties and the manipulate files. So in there, you can get name, get path, get parent, and the last modified time in millisecond. And you have the length of the file, and then you can delete the file, rename to certain name, make directories. And then check if the file is a file or a directory for the name of the file, something like that. And the constructor is used to create the file handler. Class Java dot io dot file. The class Java dot io dot file can represent either a file or directory. A path string is used to locate a file or a directory. Unfortunately. Path strings are system dependent. Sometimes people will also mention this for machine dependent. For example, C column slash my project slash Java slash hello dot Java. This file format is for Windows. In Unix and Mac system, you have the slash, and Windows you have the backslash. And also in Java, you need to use two slash because of the escape sequence issue. So Windows use the backslash as the directory separator, while Unix and Mac use forward slash. Windows use semicolon as the path separator to separate a list of paths, while Unix and Mac use colon. Windows use backslash r backslash n as the line delimiter for text file, while Unix only use backslash n, and Mac only use backslash r. And C colon slash or slash is called the root. Windows suppose multiple root, each mapped to a drive. Unix and Mac have single root. File pass. A file pass can be absolute or relative. Special notation dot or double dot denote the current directory and the parent directory. Double dot for the parent directory. The Java dot io dot file class maintains this system dependent property for you to write programs that are portable. Directory separator, pass separator. Directory separator in static fields file separator a string and the file separator character. They fail to follow the Java naming convention for constants adopted since Java JDK 1.2. Path separator in static fields file that path separator and the file path separator character as mentioned. Windows use semicolon to separate. A list of paths while Unix and Mac use column. So absolute path is beginning from the root and relative is relative to current directory. File access using URL. So we have several version of the file constructor, and you can put the path string over here, or you can put the parent and the string child. Over here to construct a file handler. At the same time, you can also put in a URI 
Uniform Resource Indicator to point to a URL location online. Methods to verify a file directly and list directory files. To verify a file or directory you have the exist, length is directory is file, can read, can write, whether the file can be read or write based on the readable, writable, or executable flag in the file system. Delete on exit that would allow you to delete a file after the program terminate, and rename to or make directory. These are the manipulation of files or directory. This directory, you can list the contents of this directory in a string array format, and these files, it will be shown in file array format. Demo program. Right here, we have one demo program, this directory recursive. It will list files in one directory recursively. Right here, I have the C backslash Eric underline child backslash trips. It's one directory that I use to store one trip documents, quite a few dot PDF file. And I would like to list this directory recursive to find out all the file in that directory. So this list recursively will accept one file pointer but it actually will be a directory. If that directory is a directory, then we create a list file to put into an, an array of files. So the items is an array of pointers to files. And then from there, each time we pick up one file handler, and then we try to get a absolute file, get a file, and print out the name. And if this item is a directory, then we list recursively, continue to the next level to list out all of the file in that subdirectory as well. We will continue to run this list recursively down to the subdirectory and list down all of the files in that directory. Here is one simulation without. Let's go to the budget to take a look on the program. The program is right here. It's the same as the slice. Let's run it. So it will show all the file I put into this every child backslash trip directory. Let's go back to the slice. Here is another demo program. We try to explore the file properties using the methods in file class that will allow you to manipulate the files. Let's look at the example. The program is right here. Basically, we will open a file that's under image slash us.gif. And then we assign that file handler to a pointer file. And that file, we will check whether it exists and print out how long will be the file, how many bytes. And then check whether it's readable or not readable check whether it is writable or not writable, and also check if the file is actually a directory or a file, and we'll check whether it's absolute pass or it's a relative pass, whether the file is hidden or not. Sometimes the system will have a file as hidden, don't want people to see it, and then we will get the absolute pass and print that absolute pass out. And we will also get the time that the file is last modified. Let's go to the BlueJ to run it. The file is right here, the same as our slice. Let's run it. As you can see right here, that US flag file, us.gif, exists, and the file has about 2.4k bytes. And then it's readable, it's writable, it is not a directory, and it is a file. And the address we gave is actually a relative pass. And then it is not hidden because you can access it. And then absolute pass will be something like this. And the last modified time is the August 5th, 2015. So download these two files and try to run it yourself. Thank you.